Hey there, um, this time I just want to share with you guys some cool XP tips that I learned. So first off is assigning shortcut keys. So, um, basically you can assign a uh, shortcut keys to any program or documents you you want to access um, without the use of your keyboard and I'll just show you a quick demo. So for example you want to access paint using your keyboard um, quickly so all you gotta do is this is paint so right click send to your desktop or basically creates a shortcut to your desktop and there you go then press um, or click properties then click on the shortcut key since it starts with letter P so I'll just put in P as you can see it automatically uh, includes control and alt just press OK so let's check it out control alt P there you go paint is opened um, so if you want a document um, just move this note okay so we have geek here create a shortcut or just um, send it to your desktop like so oh where are you <laughs> bit of a delay. So I'll do it again. Send to desktop. There you go. So same procedure. This time I'm going to click N. Press OK. And control Alt N. And there is my note. Geek. Geeky artist. Okay. So, if you want to delete a file without going through the recycle bin and emptying the recycle bin and stuff, so just um, click on or highlight uh, the document or program or anything that you want to delete, press shift, and then delete it. And it will be deleted uh, permanently. Again, that's shift, then delete. But unfortunately, if you're going to delete it from your desktop, so it's shift then delete it will just send these items to the recycle bin but if you do that command on our on a window it will permanently delete it there you go um, next is um, unlocking your desktop um, all you have to do is press your windows key and then L so it will automatically log, log you out it will automatically log you out of your um, desktop or your account and that is if you're um, you're going to do something and <laughs> you want to log out uh, immediately so that's window then L so uh, speaking of the Windows key um, there are other um, shortcuts here that you might find useful because I did um, for example I have here an open window um, I'm going to press the Windows key then D minimizes um, the a window and if you pressed it again Windows then D then it's back on so I think that's um, for a quick if you're using your a keyboard or if your mouse isn't working or stuff eh? so next is E window then E and now it opens your Windows Explorer so it just uh, displays all your files there and basically um, my computer um, then we have Windows F Now it it displays the uh, search window. Um, Windows R. It displays the run window. 
another quick way of um, running your applications and then Windows U the utility manager okay 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 that's the narrator <laughs> I'm just going to exit this first. Okay, then Windows break. This time it displays the system properties. And last, the Windows F1. You guessed it, it's the help and support window. Oops. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so sorry for that. Help and support center of the Windows. So, oh, there you go. So those are just some of the tips that I learned, and I hope you learned something too. But if you if you already knew them before, then <laughs> good for you. So thanks for watching.